So since we're in the key of C here, what means is we're gonna wanna go up a whole step or two semitones. Now, the key of C is the one chord. So if we were to say do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, and then do, we would have seven notes in total, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then C again. Each one of these would represent a chord inside of here. So this C, when we go up a whole step, and also you can make yourself a little cheat sheet off to the side. I just don't wanna draw in this and I got it in my head. And this is what we're hoping for all of my students and for all the people that watch this channel to try to do as well. C would go up to a D because the one chord's turning into a dominant. We would just put a D7. Notice how I'm drawing in a different uh, color right next to it, keeping it small. I might want to go back here and put in an F. I'd put it in the color of green, G in the key of, uh, you know, whatever, red. doesn't matter. Uh, just make sure that you keep it constant. If you're going to go more than two or three deep on your chords, I would say printing out another and then having that in the book as well. When going through this, I make a little legend on the top here. Like if a song I can't find contemporarily on any playlist and I, I've never heard it before, I'll put an asterisk up top in blue. Uh, other things where the lyrics are different, I'll put a check mark in blue as well. Um, and then if it's a song that is contemporary but has been translated and the translations are wrong uh, for just uh, between the dialect, uh, just being able to see and make notation of that. So we try to keep it as uh, authentic as possible. Okay, so we're going to go to the four chord here. The four chord in the key of C is F. So when we're going to be playing here in the key of D, the four chord, D, E, F sharp, G. So we would put a G right here. Wonderful. Uh, since this is a G7 and we're thinking in the key of C, this would be a five chord, right? C, D, E, F, G, it's a five dominant. So the five dominant, D, E, F sharp, G, A, A right here. And because it's a dominant, we're gonna be playing an A7 on the oop, just that one finger on the first thick string, the C sharp. And then since C is the one chord, we're gonna be doing the D. What I've noticed in modulating, usually the A form and then the B form will explain the rest of the song. Since most Hawaiian songs repeat the first verse or the first chorus twice, uh, chances are you're just going to be doing repetition of these uh, notes. If you find one is a little wonky, you could go ahead and change it on the fly. Once again, C here. C, this is a dominant, so we're just going to refrain from using our brain and just try and copy these now because we've got our notes laid out. And when doing something like this, it'll blow your mind how repetitive all chord progressions really truly are. D, C7 here is our D dominant. There's an F written here, but because I did not write it in, I want to make sure that when I'm going doing it, it's time for us to stay for us to us. That feels right, but I want to check it with a couple other songs before writing it in the book. So I'm going to come back for that one. Uh, G7, of course, is going to be our A dominant. We're going to take our C to the D, follow that all down to the D7. And remember, the D7 feels like the F sharp diminished, so you can either bar it up like a B minor 7, barring the whole second fret, and add the C note. Uh, here in F, well, that's our four chord, so in the key of D, D, E, F sharp, G. Yeah. Not too terribly hard now, is it? Um, let's see here. G7 will go to the dominant, so if we have the dominant again, we have A7. Right below it, I see it. Uh, here's a D, there's a D, there's a Do, here's the Do. Now, that's the song. That's what we just did. So now when we're playing this, I can pick up my instrument of choice, and instead of playing it, for just a little while. I can play in the key of D. How fun. So let's maybe modulate. why I want to modulate sometimes is for the voice or for the instrument part. I hope this was helpful. Aloha!